So uh, as you probably can imagine, we're going to do something parallel now. Uh, so in your build directory, you should now be able to run the generated executable. If you are doing this on Windows, you first have to switch to the release folder in your build directory. Windows places the binaries in a somewhat different location. So uh, it, should, it should just be a subdirectory of the build directory in your case. Since I'm, I'm on Linux, I just have the executable in the top level directory here. So I can now execute it. And uh, it works. So now we're seeing that uh, we're having that, there, that there, uh, we are running eight threads in parallel, and we are also seeing that uh, the thread order doesn't seem to be in any uh, doesn't seem to be specified in any way. So the threads are just running randomly at some point. If we do this again. We can see that the thread order is completely different uh, from what we had before without us having to change any code or something with the executable. Again, uh, from our point of view as the programmer, this uh, whole behavior is totally non-deterministic. We don't uh, have any order to this, uh, to the thread execution. And we don't know which thread will print at uh, which point. This is what we just did on the terminal here. So what's happening here? Um, we're going to look at the source code in a minute. So, but uh, all you need to know now is that Alpaca spawns a user-specified number of threads. In our case, we have specified that there are eight threads to run in parallel. And this is what's happening here. Executing in parallel means that the threads can run at the same time, and they probably do run at the same time as well. From the user's point of view, the thread scheduling is also non-deterministic. It's of course not really non-deterministic because nothing is non-deterministic on a CPU, but from the programmer point of, programmer's point of view, uh, the scheduling doesn't, is not really uh, future-proof. This also means that the order of access to shared resources, meaning memory, input, output buffers, and so on, is not specified. So you can't rely on a, a concrete order to these things. 